Today we're going to talk about whether a shotgun can really knock you back and whether you can survive a shotgun blast. So my first time seeing a shotgun in action was in the Terminator, when Arnold Schwarzenegger crashed into the police station and started shooting with an assault rifle and a shotgun. Back then I thought the shotgun must be the most powerful weapon because it could knock you back. But then I realized it is actually physically impossible because of two reasons. First, based on Newton's third law, if someone could knock you back with a shotgun, it would simply do the same to them, because both persons should experience the same amount of force. And two, based on the conservation of momentum, because the bullets are much lighter than you. Even if they hit you at a very high speed, there's still no way they can send you flying, simply because you're just too heavy. That is why shotguns in real life aren't actually as powerful as they seem to be in the movies, but still, they can kill. So how can we survive a shotgun? Or in fact, what determines if we can survive? The first and probably most important factor is the type of ammo loaded in the shotgun. A shotgun is different from a rifle because it has a smooth bore with the rifling. This gives you the freedom to choose whatever round you want. For non-lethal purposes, you can choose beanbag or rubber. But for lethal purposes, you can choose metal such as lead, steel, tungsten, or bismuth. If you choose metal, what you need to do next is to decide whether you use a slug, which is one single projectile, or a shot, which contains many small pellets inside a shell. A slug is considered to be more powerful because it focuses all its energy onto a single piece of metal, whereas a shot contains many small pellets and equally distributes its energy among them. But not all shells have pellets of the same size. In fact, there are many pellet sizes that can be put into two main categories, birdshot and buckshot. As you can tell by the name, birdshot is used to shoot birds that are small and fast. So the shell contains a large number of tiny pellets that spread out evenly in a circle. This increases the chance of hitting the target while still making sure each tiny pellet is still powerful enough to knock out the bird. Buckshot, on the other hand, is used to shoot larger animals. Its shells contains only a few pellets, but each of them is larger in size. Compared to birdshot, buckshot has a lower chance of hitting a small target, but when used against a larger target, its power and accuracy is equally well. So after all, which type of ammo is the most difficult to survive against? Birdshot, buckshot, or a slug? Well, if you're in a very close range, by that I mean just a few meters, then all three ammos are equally destructive. But as the distance between you and the shooter increases, each of them will have a different result. For bird shots, the tiny pellets will be dispersed in the air and end up spreading out in a very large circle. Although a lot of pellets will miss you, those that manage to reach you will hit all over your body and cause damage all over your skin. Buckshots, on the other hand, will end up in a smaller circle. Although some pellets may still miss you, those that manage to reach you will significantly impact parts of your body. Compared with birdshot, buckshot pellets are more damaging because they have more mass, thus more momentum. If you're not wearing any armor, these pellets can even penetrate your body. Last but not least is the slug. Although it can only hit you at one single spot, this heavy piece of metal can kill you at a very long distance depending on the aiming skill of the shooter. That is why shotguns using metal slugs are the most difficult to survive against because you simply can't outrun a good shooter. If you're up against burst shots or buckshots, however, you can still try to run away as fast as possible to minimize the impact of the pellets. Although burst shots should be the least lethal for long range, having bullet holes all over your body is still never something fun. So does this simply conclude everything we need to know about shotgun? Well, not exactly, because for burst shots and buck shots, we can still deep dive into the ammo and measure the exact number and size of the pellets. The gauge number is also a concern because it measures the bore size of the shotgun. If the barrel comes with a choke, everything I just said will also be different because it constricts the barrel and changes the spread of the projectile. Say, if you've got a duck bill on a shotgun, the shot pattern will also be changed and the pellets will spread out in an oval instead of a circle. This increases your chance of hitting an upright target depending on how you install it. Anyways, that's all for today. Thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. 
Uh, I know a lot of you guys come from a stunt grenade video and if you want to see more videos just like this one, let me know in the comments below. Uh, if not, I'll see more videos on physics and psychology in pop pillow forms.